Hello, my name is Emeko Kereke and you are welcome to Tech Talk at EO Multimedia. Today we are going to be doing a bit of uh, unboxing and guess which device we are going to be unboxing. Yep, yep, this one. The brand new, the recently released iPhone 12 Pro. Basically, I didn't order it when it was supposed to be ordered online and all that. So uh, it was releasing today here in Berlin. And so I just decided to do the foolhardy thing and just go out there to Apple store and see if I could just get it. And somehow the whole pandemic thing worked in my favor because there are only very, very few people compared to what it would have been if it was like a normal situation. Um, so I was able to get in within a space of say 45 minutes and out anyway. I got the so-called uh, Pacific Blue. But before I go into unboxing this, let me take some time out and say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to this channel so far. Now, let me give this a context. This is a really new channel. I have only made three videos. And the last video, which I'll find a way to link on the screen here, really garnered a lot of views and a lot of uh, comments and of course as a result we are 100 subscribers strong and for me it is really um, a cause for celebration and i am so happy for this support it means that we are going to be doing this together what i want to do with this channel is basically as a visual artist to share my experience of using all this you know gadgets and devices that i use for my work work and my workflow so that's it basically, and I'm hoping that for everyone who subscribes to this channel, that we're gonna become like a community and a family and we're gonna be doing this together. Now, that said, I wanna say something else, or I want to begin from somewhere. You see, I've always had an iPhone. My very first iPhone was the very first iPhone actually, in 2007. I remember vividly where I was. I was, Back then, still in the art school in Paris, and some at some point I read something somewhere that this phone is coming out that is going to be a combination of the camera, the iPod, as well as you know an internet device. And of course, enter the iPhone. I remember the feeling. It was magical. We felt like this is really new. Something. There's never been anything like it before, you know, it was really innovative and most importantly, it took technology, or at least, you know, mobile technology or phone technology to a whole other level. Fast forward to 2020, it's as if Apple is no longer innovating, you know, their changes are mainly incremental and they are sort of like, I wouldn't say living on past glories, I would say sustaining you know, past glories and hitching a ride on the innovative progress of uh, Steve Jobs. I was using 11 Pro, but I decided to go for the 12 Pro. Why is that? Because I'm a visual artist, I'm a photographer, I'm a filmmaker. And my mobile phone has become for me just that, you know, like a pocket camera, especially with filming even, but also making photos. And so this is the reason I thought to myself, let me go out there and give the 12 Pro um, a try. Well, without further ado, let's just get on to sort of like opening it right here. You know, I'm opening it for the first time. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you on the screen that way because uh, that way, oh wow, you can hear. This year, they have reduced the size of the box and of course, this is because of that highly controversial issue of not including the charging brick in the box. Of course, Apple is saying that it is for ecological reasons and blah, blah, blah. But the truth is this. I am one of those people who, although I've been using iPhones for so long now, I didn't have that brick, at least the 20 watt one. So I had to buy it today as well alongside the phone. Um, so this whole idea of saying that, you know, people will have the, 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 the charger anyway, 
there's no point buying it i don't think it because in my own reality right now i have to pay 25 euro uh extra to get that charger which i think it's it's a bummer really it's a bummer now speaking of which i am here in berlin uh in the us everyone is saying 9.99 for the you know starting price of of the 12 pro but here with tax it is 1120 euro so that's what i got it today so this is what it looks like really nice you know i'll just peel this one off it's really looking beautiful also i want to note that you know this is already as i just opened it it's already picking up fingerprints everywhere like seriously like especially this side i i will I see myself wiping this all the time because I hate fingerprints. But I will come back to this. Let us see what is inside uh, the box. Well, not that much. Just paperwork and the cable, and that's it. Now back to the phone. It is super, super flat, you know, really. And the 12 Pro has this stainless finish. I had the opportunity to touch the 12 at the Apple store a little bit. I mean, you won't be disappointed also if you're going for the 12, but the 12 Pro is really beautiful to hold and behold. Of course, we know the deal, it has all the, it has a three, three cameras, nothing has really changed, except that for me, why I decided to go for it is that Deep Fusion, you know, that technology that enhances the photos you make have come to all of the lenses. And that for me is a plus. Now, what I am thinking is this, I am going to spend some time using this phone. It, it could be that after two weeks, I will send it back in. I might even decide to take it in and then go for the you know, 12 mini because I'm looking for a way to reduce the footprint of my mobile phone as I move around. You know, I don't want it to get bigger and bigger. But if I end up keeping this phone, I have decided two things. That one is that I am not gonna put a case around it i'm just going to use it like this because it really feels like something you can grip unlike the 11 pro that is constantly feeling like it's going to slip off your 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 palm this feels like something you can grip and it feels good to to hold you know reminds me of the 5s and the 5s and the 4 you know the design but there is something about the size here that makes it feel like it's a it's, it's a different phone and secondly is that I have decided if I decide to keep this phone and not go for another phone or go for the 12 mini, I have decided I'm, going, I'm not going to upgrade my phone for another three or four years. Because the truth is this, this phone is, one can say that it is futuristic because there are so many things you can do that you will not really get the value for the money you know, right now. Let's talk about the 5G, for instance. Everyone is all hyped up, you know, about the 5G. But the truth is that uh, there is only so much you can do right now as we speak. So if you're going out there to buy this phone because of 5G, I'm telling you, please, you know, except you're trying to give yourself some excuse to have a new phone. But don't say it's because of 5G because realistically, it's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to do much for you. Or is it a LiDAR sensor? Well, when it comes to making photos, it improves autofocus by, say, six times, according to Apple. But beyond that, um, who is going to be scanning the apartment every day or looking to put virtual furniture and everything into the apartment every day? Now, when we come to the A14 Bionic chip that is super powerful already, the one in the 11 Pro and the 11s was already fast and powerful. This has even, like, it's off the hook. And what is happening with Apple is that they are developing all these chips that are so powerful that they can do a lot, uh, that becomes part of the hardware. But then the software or software part of the, of the device is not really living up to all of that power. It happened in the iPad Pro, where the iPad Pro became so powerful, but the software, the apps were not really living up to it until some maybe third-party apps started coming up like LumaFusion for you know, film editing, you know, started really going for all of that power. But again, you would think that Apple by now would have you know, put out, say, Final Cut Pro for iPad so that you can really make use 
of you know all that power from the hardware the same thing goes for the iphones as well so it's one of the reasons i've decided that if i'm keeping this phone i'm not going to upgrade it i am going to use it to the point where i feel like i'm beginning to enjoy the reason why they are made this powerful and strong of course if you're coming from 11 pro the changes in the 12 and the 12 pros will be incremental but if you're coming from say six seven even eight now that's some real upgrade well anyway i am happy that i got it i will be photographing a lot with it i'll be filming a lot with it in the next days let me know in the comment section if you would like me to make a video sharing my thoughts and also samples of the photographs i have made i will see what it does in real life yeah so that's it basically well if you like this video and if it has been informative in any way please think of subscribing and join the community um, like the video if you dislike it which you are entitled to please be kind enough to leave a comment tell us why you have disliked it and we'll take whatever you say under advisement for our next video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.